Hey guys, I'm Chad Shoop, and welcome to my latest edition of Bank It or Tank It. This week, I'm excited that we're going to get to cover Tesla, thanks to Kimberly, who wrote in through one of my premium channels and asked me to take a look at Tesla this week because it's been a high-flying stock. It's all over the news. She wanted me to break it down through my analysis that we use and Bank It or Tank It every week. And just to let you know, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, scroll right below, click subscribe. So that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming Bank It or Tank It videos. And also be sure to leave me a comment because in 2020, I'm making it a point to go through every comment that you all leave about a stock that you want me to take a look at. And I'm going to feature it in my Bank It or Tank It videos. So leave me a comment on a stock that's in your portfolio or that you're interested in. Put it in the comment section and I'll put it on my list to feature in an upcoming Bank It or Tank It video. So for today, we're going to feature Tesla. We're going to run through my three-step analysis looking at the fundamentals, the sentiment, in the technicals to figure out where Tesla stands on my bank it or tank it list. Now there's a ton of information going on with Tesla. A lot's going on with the stock. Yes, it just took off like a rocket ship, soared to nearly $1,000 a share. But in the background, everything that's going on behind the scenes at Tesla is a lot to keep up with. So we're definitely not going to be able to feature all of it in our bank it or tank it for today. Instead, we're going to stick to our three-step process where we look at those fundamentals the sentiment and the technicals because we can't get into how the batteries are going to impact the company or how the coronavirus is going to impact the stock. And it's battery day coming up in April 2020. That's going to be a big event, but it's hard to factor in to the price of the stock, how exactly all of that plays out, especially after it soared like it did. But one thing that we know for sure about Tesla is that it's a volatile stock. This stock is going to see some wild moves over the next few weeks, and it's going to take a lot of conviction to stay with the position because if you look at the Tesla bulls that are out there, if you've been owning the stock, then you got to run a nice victory lap when it reached nearly $1,000 a share. Massive run. The stock was up over 400%. But along that time frame, it took a lot of conviction to stay in that position because just before it took off and jumped 400%, the stock fell 50%. So you had to stay with this position. You had to ignore all the naysayers out there and stick to your conviction about why you were owning shares of the stock. And you were able to benefit from that. And the same side for the short sellers that are having to close up shop now because of Tesla taking off like crazy. The people that were short the stock that were very bearish, they had a huge conviction that this stock was going to run out of money or that it just wasn't priced right and shares were going lower, but they stuck by their conviction. And I had a big conviction because I'm not a long-term investor, but I have a major conviction with my strategy and I stick to it. So we actually came up to jump into Tesla recently back after they announced earnings just the other week. The stock jumped 10% on earnings, but my strategy told me to take a look at Tesla and that it had more room to run higher. So I just trusted my strategy, jumped into Tesla that day as a recommendation for my readers to benefit, and they were able to see gains of over 400% in just four days. So it was a tremendous opportunity, but I really give all the credit to trusting my conviction on the system. And if you want to learn more about the system and why I place my conviction so high, on that and how I use that to dictate my trades. And right below this video, I'll have a link that you can check out everything that you need to know about that strategy, about that concept and how I use it to generate gains that we just saw in Tesla in four days, 438%. You can click on that link to learn how we did that trading on a stock. But for today, we're going to stick to our basics in the bank it or tank it. We're going to look at the fundamentals and see how that stacks up for the stock. Then we'll run through a few sentiment indicators to see how the overall market still feels about it, even after the major run higher. And then we're going to get to the technicals, which are my favorite part, because that's going to be how we end up having a price target for the stock by figuring out what the charts are telling us. So we'll start with the fundamentals, and I'd like to take a look at their key stats, the net income and revenue. So let's pull up that chart. So the net income is the line graph on the chart, and its metrics are on the left-hand side. And then the revenues are the bars on the chart, and those metrics are on the right-hand side, just so you can keep up with everything I'm looking at. So first, we'll start with net income because that's in the negative right now. When you look at the 12 months ending in December of 2019, it's below the zero line on the chart. So it's sitting in the red and there's a major expectation that 2020, they've already seen a profit in some quarters, but they haven't seen a profit over a full entire year. And that's what they expect to see turnaround in 2020. And you can see that they expect it to continue to climb based on these analyst expectations through 2021, 2022, and beyond. So that's a major assumption. And if you followed any of my Bank It or Take It videos, you know that I kind of get a little iffy when we are relying so much on these assumptions because this company has not proven that it can turn a profit and sustain it for a year or two yet. So these are 
So these are major assumptions taking place where they expect Tesla to turn a profit and then maintain it for several years. And you see the revenue continues to climb as well, but I'm not too skeptical about that because when you look at where the chart starts, where it's near zero at just a few million, and then it starts shooting up to 20 million, then 40 million by 2021, and over 50 million in 2022. So these are a huge jump in revenues, but it's really along the same trend that we've been seeing. So this is not too alarming. I really expect to see this play out the company is doing all the right things. They're really excelling to stay on the cutting edge of technology that's in automobiles with their battery technology and then their self-driving technology. This is really a unique car company that goes far beyond just having a car to get you to and from work. This is really an advanced technological machine that is on the road out there with us. So it's really going to help continue to drive revenues in the coming years. So I'm buying that part, just the net income part. If you follow me, then you know that I'm a little skeptical about those major assumptions getting it to profitability. So now we'll stay with the fundamentals and we'll take a look at some of the competition for Tesla. Now on this comp list, you can see we have Ford, we have General Motors, we have Chrysler. So we have some of these other major car companies in here. But yet when we look at the market cap, Tesla is the blue chip stock on this list at $160 billion. It's really incredible. This, when you look at this list, you would think Ford or General Motors and I mean, Maybe you don't think that because you've seen the headlines where it shows Tesla is more than all of these companies combined. But just knowing that Tesla is a small company, they're still in the growth phase. They have yet to really sustain a profit. Yet for the market cap, they're valued at a large cap stock. So it's kind of a unique thing about the stock, whereas the other old school automobile retailers have really seen their market caps plunge and their value take a major hit over the last few years. And then when we look at short interest as a percent of shares outstanding, this is just telling us how many of those shares are investors using to bet on a stock to decline from here. And Tesla's the highest at 13.8. AutoNation, which isn't a great comparison, but it's at 8.2, which is pretty high as well. And then the other ones are foreign tickers, so they don't have the short interest rating. But just from the news headlines, you know that Tesla is a stock that is highly shorted. And that's really part of the major rally that we've seen is something called a short squeeze, where the shorts that gets up to a ridiculous level, I think it was up over 20% of the amount of shares outstanding that were sold short. And then as good news comes out, especially their phenomenal quarter that they had, and just all the other positive information about the battery advancements, the self-driving rollouts, about the battery investments, about letting a car park itself in a parking lot and then pick you up at the front door. I mean, I've seen the YouTube videos and everything's quite amazing, but all this positive news helps build up the stock. And as it climbs, these short sellers have to buy back their stocks to cut their losses. So they're taking massive losses on the stock, but in doing so, they're adding more buying pressure to the stock, which is raising shares even higher. And then when we look at the price to earnings ratio, well, they don't have a PE, that's because they don't have an earnings yet. But I can tell you that I took a look at their forward earnings and what that meant for the stock. And it out in 2020, based on what the net income chart that I showed you before, their PE today would be 87 times. So when you look at this chart, it's clearly off the charts. The highest other one that we see is 10 times earnings for these automobile companies. So clearly there's not enough premium in the market for any of these other automobile manufacturers. But Tesla, again, it's not you're an ordinary automobile stock. It's a tech stock. And we see that factored into the PE. And once you get out to 2022, after it had a couple of years of sustainable earnings growth and it continues to climb, then based on the price where it is today, it falls to 30 times earnings. So a 30 PE multiple, which is much more reasonable, very in line with the growth stock, especially a more developed growth stock, which Tesla should be over those next three years. Now, as we flip over to look at the revenues and net income, this is the compound annual growth rate for Tesla. And what we're looking for here is the trends and comparing it to these other companies. So you can see in revenues, it's killing it. It's a 52% compound average annual growth rate over the last three years. So that's a phenomenal track record. And you can see that's blowing all the other ones out of the water. But then when you go to the net income, which is the bottom line, this is the earnings and this is where they have to improve and turn things around. Right now, they are showing net losses. But again, that's supposed to change in the next three years. That's the major assumption. But as that does, then they'll be able to get a growth rate for that. But the more alarming picture is that when you look at the rest of the automobile companies, they're really struggling here. They're negative 3% is the mean. So their net incomes are declining overall, while Tesla has a current loss, but they're going to expect to turn things around and then show some very strong growth over the next three years. And then the dividend yield is relevant just because Tesla is valued as a large cap stock. 
These other ones are not, but you can see that in place of the growth that they're missing out on, the growth is just 3.2% for revenues, they've turned to increasing their dividends to try to please investors, and the average yield on these stocks is 5.8%. They're all rather high. The average for the S&P 500 is just around 2%, so they're nearly three times the average dividend yield in the S&P 500 for these automobile companies. So Tesla's on the totally opposite end of the spectrum. Even though its market cap is super high, it's still a growth stock, and it's still growing rapidly, and it's nowhere near trying to cut a dividend in place of its growth. Instead, it just continues to innovate, continue to develop new products like its Cybertruck to get investors excited, to get the consumers excited, and to continue to fuel growth. Now, let's look at our first indicator for the sentiment analysis, and this is the analyst rating. This is based on the S&P Capital IQ. They track 31 analysts that have rated the stock, and right now it's rated to hold Almost dead center of this at 3.24, but this tells you a lot about the stock because investors, even after the major run that we've seen, all the volatility, there's still not a consensus here on which direction the stock's going next. It's not overly rated to buy. It's not underrated at a sell. It's just right in the middle. People are afraid to really have some strong convictions on the stock, at least as far as the analyst community, because they've been wrong or they've been right. And even if they've been right on Tesla, like I said, the stock dropped 50% before it went on this massive run. So if they've had the stock rated as a buy that whole time, they were just getting hammered by their bosses, by other retail investors, by everybody that's looking at their rating. They're getting absolutely punished for rating the stock a buy as it's falling 50% from its recent peak. So right now, they're just really uncertain, and they have it listed as a hold. And before we dive into the price charts for today, I just want to give you a heads up that it's going to be a little bit different than my normal bank or ticket, and that's just because Tesla is a unique stock. Again, there's too much going on here for me to cover in a short video, and it's really hard to dive into all these details because at the moment, price is really unhinged from any fundamental valuation. We looked at the fundamentals, the market cap, everything's just a little off for a gross stock being valued at like a large cap. There's a lot going on here that takes a deeper dive to get into these books and to try to figure out what's really going on. But my specialty is with the price charts, so we're gonna spend a little bit more time on that today than usual just to let you know everything that's going on with Tesla. And at the end of the day, I'll give you my price target and you'll have the key levels to watch. So let's dive into those charts right now. We're just going to start here with the basic price chart of Tesla since the IPO until today. And it just really puts the scale of the massive run that we've seen since May or June in 2019 until today. I mean, it's just a tremendous rally. It's up over 400%. And when you put it on a chart like this, it really looks like a bubble. Like it looks like Bitcoin or something is going off the charts here. It's a massive surge. And if you're a Tesla bull, it's hard to stand back and say, yeah, it's not a bubble. It's going to continue to go higher because that's really how you feel. And with everything that's going on with Tesla, that's definitely a possibility. But this is not the chart to use to convince them of that. Instead, what you need to do is you need to change the scale of the chart. And you go down here and you click logarithmic scale. Now, you don't see this on a daily basis, and I don't normally have it on my charts. But whenever you want to look at a long-term chart, especially something just multiple years, anything, let's say over five years, you want to use a logarithmic scale chart because what it does is it puts the price moves instead of in dollar amounts, it's going to reflect it to show the same percentage moves throughout the whole chart. Here, let me show you. So this is the same price chart that we just had. You can see the massive difference here. Even though we have this massive run, it is nowhere near as prominent as it was on the other chart. And that's because Tesla has seen this before. They've seen a massive 400% rally in just a few months. And it happened back in 2012 to 2013. And this rally was actually even bigger. But you can now see on this chart versus the other chart that you had no real grasp of how to measure this price move that we're seeing today versus the historical price chart for Tesla. Now it puts all that in perspective again. I just want to switch back and forth just so you can see the difference real quick. Normal price chart. This is what people normally look at. This is the move back in 2012, 2013. It doesn't even look like that big of a move on this price chart because dollar amount wise, look, it only went up to $200 a share, but it started down here at $30 or $40 a share. So it was a massive run up, but it only got to $200. Our massive run today started around $200 and then took off to nearly $1,000. So that's why when we change it to percentages, it really puts that in perspective. And this is going to be the first chart that we take a look at. So I went ahead and threw a bunch of graphics and comments on this chart just to run through them pretty quickly today for the sake of time. 
So again, this is the price move back from 2012 all the way to 2013. But you see the biggest move of the rally really just took six months, which is basically the exact same thing we just went through. And the total move was a 580% price drop. Go over to today, we are seeing a 430% move from this low to the high that we had the other day, but it's only been about six months. So again, using this chart, you can really put it in perspective and see that Tesla can easily climb higher from here. And you think kind of the euphoric move was probably around this level on back in 2012 and 2013, because this is the euphoric surge higher, which is what we just saw. It's just a massive run up that almost nobody predicted it. I mean, if you're bullish on a stock, sure, you expected it to go higher, but did you really expect it to surge over 400% in just four months? Probably not, because if you did, you could have traded a different way. Like I traded options. I did not see this surge coming, but my strategy was able to pinpoint just a few of these moves. And again, we got a 400 and some percent gain in just four days. If you really saw this 400% surge coming and traded options, let's just say you wouldn't have shown up to work this week, okay? you would have made a killing and you would be retired sitting on a beach somewhere by now. So to say you saw this coming, sure, you saw the price move rising. To compare it to 2012 to 2013, that's basically the same spot we are today here in 2020. But from that point until it actually topped, prices doubled. They went up another 100% from around $100, the high 90s, $100, to nearly $200 a share. Again, a massive rally, but it shows that today, there could still be some fuel left in the rally that Tesla has seen. So it's not necessarily time to sell just yet. But you can see once it did top, whenever this thing does top, you can expect a massive pullback. The pullback in 2013 was a 40% decline. And that's just a matter of weeks. And now this is a six year time span that prices basically went nowhere. The peak was at $200. The bottom in 2019 was just at $200. Almost the exact same level over six years. So Tesla's share price after this massive run did not do much. And we say did not do much. At one point, it was up 100% over the six year time span from the peak. It was up more if you bought on this dip, but from the peak, it had doubled during the six year time span. But all along the way, you can see, and again, this is still a logarithmic chart. So if you see a price move of about that size on the chart, that means that it's about a 40% decline. So this one's about a 30%. This one's about a 40% decline. Here is over a 50% decline probably, about another 30 or 40%. Then we come up here, it's just a little choppy, but again, another 30% drop, 30% drop. And then the 50% drop right before it took off for a 430% price move. I mean, one thing's for certain, don't expect shares to just level off anytime soon. This is gonna continue to be a volatile stock and it's gonna be a fun one to trade. So now let's look at another chart and this one, it's a little alarming, but it's it's in there because this is a real scenario that could play out. And it's, believe it or not, it's still a bullish scenario. So I'm, I'm not even getting into the bear case yet because, of course, the bear case is that it's going to fall back below $200, just a massive crash. But I'm a fan of the trend, and right now the trend is higher. So there's no point in really being worried about the bear case. So this is still, you can kind of think of it as like a worst case, best case scenario. So this is still... A bullish trend for the stock you can see on the bottom the green trend line this is an upward sloping trend line showing that if it hits support at this level it's still in an uptrend overall but it's a massive drop from where shares are trading at today which is around seven hundred dollars or so so we're talking about more than a 50 percent drop and the stock's still in an uptrend that's the type of volatility that we could see and i say this is bullish because it has this upward trend line that's gonna find support and then it'll bounce and then it'll end up forming a longer term wedge pattern. Remember, the last time the stock surged over 400%, what happened? It went almost nowhere for six entire years. I mean, it bounced around like crazy, but as far as the trend and the actual direction of the stock, it essentially went nowhere. It's peaked at $200 on its major rally and then it bottomed at $200 six years later. It went nowhere for nearly six years so we can expect the stock, in my opinion, to at least consolidate after this. And that's going to bring us to our last chart on Tesla, which really gets into these key levels that you can keep an eye on. So I have a few things pulled up, as always. Let's look at the 200-day moving average. It's in yellow. And no surprise here, the stock is above the 200-day moving average. The 200-day moving average is trending higher. So that's a bullish sentiment reading for us. The stock's trending up. It's, it's a bullish sign for the company, even if it's a massive spike 
it's still trending in the right direction. And I added something different this time called the Fibonacci sequence. This is a retracement pattern showing what some of the key Fibonacci levels are. And you can see this first one already tested. This is the 23.6% retracement. And you can see that's kind of where it hit over the volatility that it's been seeing. And I'm using the close price. So you see the bar kind of shoot up above it, but I'm using the close price from the highest point on this price move. And I used the low back here at the beginning as our starting point. Now these are not written in stone. They're just some areas to look for support. So basically this is the first line of support and so far it's holding, but if it falls below that, then we can expect it to fall to the next level, 38.2% retracement of the price move. And then below that is down to the 50% level and then the 61.8% level. So these are just some key levels to keep an eye on. And I also added this upward sloping trend line because this is our uptrend to watch at the moment. I know it's very steep and it looks like it'll be broke really quick. And that tends to be the case. The steeper the trend line, the sooner they can be broken. But it is something to watch because when we go back here to 2012, and I added the same lines to this chart as far as what took place. And you can see the Fibonacci ratios on the trend line pullback. We saw about a 50% pullback of the price move. That was the ultimate level of support. This is the 40% decline that we saw after the stock peaked. But this red upward sloping trend line, it looks not quite as steep as the one I drew. And that's really going to come down just to the fact that the higher prices are making it look a little steeper. And I'll show you that in just a second. But I also drew the longer term trend line. We see once it got the 40% pullback in the turn higher from there, that acted as key support for about a year from that point. So that was a great support line to trade on and to act on. And you can see the 200 day moving average also acted as support along this upward price move. So that'll be two key areas to look at after we get the 30, 40% decline, whatever it may be. Once it turns higher from there, that's going to be a major support line to keep an eye on to help keep this stock in an uptrend. And one last thing I wanted to look at was when you put these in the logarithmic scale, you can see it trails a curve to give you the same trend line that we were looking at, but now on the log scale. And I just wanted to show you that that curve is very similar to the curve I drew, drew up here. You can see that it starts to make the basically the same slope as this red one. That looks really steep, but again, it climbed all the way up that and ended up doubling before it peaked. So we're seeing a little consolidation out of Tesla today, but that trend line, it won't be curved. It'll be a straight line that we watch, but that trend line going up will be the key level to watch as shares try to continue to rally higher. So after running through the fundamentals, the sentiment and the technicals, it's time to come down to my checklist to figure out where Tesla stands on my bank of tank list today. So we ran through the fundamentals and while its revenues were growing at a rapid pace and everything was looking solid, it's yet to turn a profit at a sustainable level. It's priced at a large cap stock, but it's still a volatile stock trading more like a small cap. So it's going to get an X for the fundamentals today. And then when we looked at the sentiment, the analysts were not sure about the stock, but the price was well above the 200 day moving average. So it's definitely trending in the right direction. And we see that there's enough buyers out there that are continuing to lift the stock up. So to me, that's my conviction that there's people still out there with a strong sentiment, that shares are going higher. So it's going to get a check mark for the sentiment today. And then when it came to the price chart, it was all over the place. I drew trend lines all over these charts. There's multiple key levels to keep an eye on. One thing's for sure. It's going to be volatile from here, but after the major breakout, I expect the trend to be higher. So it's going to get a check mark on the technicals today. So that sums up our bank of tank it for Tesla with two check marks on price and sentiment. It ended up being a bank it stock for today. Now, just because Tesla's on that bank it list, does not mean it's surging higher from here. In fact, I'm going to dive back in and give you my exact price target over 12 months and what I expect to see from the stock. But as you saw on the price charts, a 30, 40, maybe even 50% pullback once it peaks is more than likely and it could have already peaked. So we could already be in that pullback area. It may not be the case. And I'm going to get into that when we talk about my price chart. But for now, don't be afraid of Tesla. This is going to be a fun stock to trade. If you're buying the stock, then you're thinking long term. You're not trying to buy it and get out over the next pop. You're buying and holding for the next 10, 20, 30 years while the company and CEO Elon Musk really continue to brand this stock as a tech stock, not as an automobile manufacturer and its batteries and its solar and everything's really just going to start to start clicking and continue to go higher. So that's what you're buying on today. And if you're waiting to buy, well, you could be waiting for years if you're waiting for it to pull back. But the way I'm going to trade this stock is based on the proven systems that I follow because I'm a a shorter term thinker. So I'm not looking 10, 20 years out 
Instead, I'm thinking just a few months out. And the way to do that is to trade the stock based on proven patterns. So I'm excited about what's going to come up for Tesla over the next couple of years. I think it's going to be a very volatile stock and it's going to be one of the best stocks for trading, just like it has been over the last several months. So again, if you want to learn more about how I trade Tesla and how we knocked out a 430% gain in just four days, not six months, just four days, just scroll below this video and I'll lay out everything about my strategy in a video below. I'll have a comment letting you know what link to click on. So scroll below the video, check it out and see if you think this is a strategy that you can follow as well. So now let's get to our price target for Tesla. So let's dive back into the chart. So we're going to dive right back into the chart that I just left you on and we're banking on this stock. So that means I expect shares to go higher and I'm actually looking for a $1,200 price target. So from where shares are trading today, that's almost a 50% move higher and it's on the higher end of the range. So I'm really staying bullish on the stock and until it gives me a reason otherwise, I think we should be betting on the stock to continue to rise until at least until we see this shorter term trend line get broke as far as support then we'll start to look at some other support areas and adjust price targets. But until then, I expect to see the stock possibly double from here because it could technically double from the kind of the high point that we saw, nearly $1,000 a share. So the stock could continue its meteoric rise up to nearly 1,600 or above before it sees a massive pullback of 30, 40, maybe even 50% drop. But in the end, it'll be a volatile stock. And I think it could settle around $1,200 in 12 months from now. So this is banking on the stock for one to climb above $1,000 on this price move. If it breaks below this trend line before it gets above $1,000, then this price target's out of the question and I can update my new price target after we see what kind of price move it makes below that support line. So my expectations for the stock are to continue to ride this trend line higher. Once it breaks above $1,000, I think it gets another surge in buying pressure. It's gonna jump even higher. The shorts are going to have to cover even faster. So I think that we'll see the stock continue to rocket higher from there. And that'll get it up to the $1,400, $1,500 price range before we see the sell off and then sort of a rebound around $1,200. So that's my price target for today. Again, it's about a 50 or 60% price move from where the stock is currently trading. And that level in the chart is going to be critical. If it gets broke, then I'll have to readjust as I mentioned. But for now, $1,200 is my price target. 50% rally. It's going to be a volatile ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but it's going to be a fun one, especially for us short-term traders. There's going to be a lot of money to be made in Tesla over the next 12 months. So here's to a profitable 2020 trade in the stock. But if you haven't yet, scroll right below the video, click subscribe so that we don't miss out on any of my bank it or take it. Be sure to leave me a comment with the stock that you want me to take a look at. And don't forget to check all the extra information right below this video. I have a link about how I made 400% in just four days on Tesla just the other week. So that way you came to in the coming weeks, you'll have opportunities to jump in and trade stocks just like Tesla and see massive profit opportunities. So that's all for my bank it or take it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chad Shoup and I'll see you next week.